everyone, it's Karen Redman, the Mayor of the Town of Gawler. And again, I've got um, a regular on the Mayor's video update, Sam Delena, who's in charge of our depot and um, in infrastructure and engineering. Sam's an engineer. The world is run by engineers. Um, and we're here to talk about the draft beautification plan, which is now out for consultation. We're really, really keen to get people uh, such as yourselves who might be watching uh, feedback on this plan. And so we're going to talk about some of the elements of, um, of this beautification plan um, that is now out for consultation. So Sam, we've got this pull up, uh, pull up thing. Banner. Banner, <laughs> that's it. And in there, people can see different pictures around what we're, what we're thinking might be a good idea for Gawler. So this is about improving our town pride and really raising raising the bar as it relates to our town entranceways and some of our roundabouts. So looking at landscaping, looking at tree planting, looking at signage, etc. So we've got seven entranceways and eight roundabouts included in this beautification plan. We put in uh, for some funding for Lindot Road. Lindot Road is one of those, the Barossa Valley Highway that comes down through the S Bend. We've got Red Banks Road, we've got Main North Road, Williston, we've got Ride Street, we've got One Tree Hill Road. Have I forgot Carlton any? Road. Carlton Road, where I used to live. <laughs> I used to live on Carlton Road. So Carlton Road, um, sort of right up, right up the top uh, as you come through Springwood uh, around there, uh, but also down towards the main street. So please have a look, but we're going to have a chat about why we've done this. So, so Sam, what are your thoughts on, you know, what's important about this beautification plan? Yeah, thank you, Karen. It's been something that's been talked about, certainly in my time, the council, the last six or seven years, um, the, with the community and the council, looking at ways in which we can you know, beautify the township. Um, this project was spurned about, you know, our engagement with the community, with the elected members through uh, the last, um, few years um, materialising a project where we're actually going out and asking the community well what do you want to what do you like about Gawler what would you like to improve it's it's it is about these entries and clearly entries has been a discussion point for some time and we've come up with some concepts and some images you'll see through the draft plan if you're able to log on um, or certainly come to any one of our customer service centres we have a hard copy there as well and look at what we've come up with and give us your feedback it's not just about these locations, it's also about the way we're maintaining the town. You know, your town, where you live, you know, what do you want to see changed or are you happy with what we're doing? And this is really your opportunity to, to have your say in that space. Yeah, I think that's right, because we're in Pioneer Park right now and what a beautiful spot Pioneer Park has. We've got Pioneer Park is and we've got some beautiful, beautiful parks and gardens. We've got great walking trails. We've got a relaxed lifestyle, um, but there's always more we can do. But have we got it right? That's the thing. And it, you know, are we incorporating enough biodiversity in this in this plan? Um, you know, I, I look at some of these beautiful pictures and think, oh wow. But then I look, oh my God, how much how much is going to cost? You know, and how long will we need will we need before we can deliver this type of plan? And then, as Sam said, it's also about maintenance. It's also about maintaining our trees. We know we, we're going to get another ten year drought at some point. And then there's the effect of climate change, but. Planting more trees is critical as we go forward because if you come down One Tree Hill Road, you'll see lots of trees across Gawler. There's a beautiful canopy. Most of those trees are on private land. With infill development now becoming the thing with, with urban environments, a lot of those trees might well go as a result of a planning development approval. And uh, we, need, we need to actually make sure we've got enough plantings on public land that we can preserve and protect. But Sam, what about, um, you know, I was having, when we were, before we went on video, we were just talking about, um, you know, our responsibility, my responsibility as a great player, my husband's responsibility, because he does all the gardening, so that's all good. But um, how we can actually get involved in our own small capacity by looking after our verges, by taking responsibility, each and every one of us. It's not just council's responsibility, is it? No, that's, that's right, Madam Mayor. We control just a small portion of effectively the, the available land in the town of Gawler. And it was interesting with the climate change workshop we had the other day, yeah. the council itself controls 1% of the emissions from the total community in terms of you know, CO2 emissions. So certainly you know, biodiversity in your own backyard and tree planting to help mitigate 
the effects of climate change and you know cool your own dwellings and surroundings is is vitally important and just on that madam mayor oh, we're what? giving away some plants next week oh my god yeah. really? so we've got a backyard biodiversity uh, plant giveaway have you yes so um there's more information on that um on our website what sort so of and plants? facebook what sort so of plants? Our, our, our local um, or oh, made indigenous, indigenous, indigenous plants. Indigenous oh, fantastic. So, yeah. Because we've, we've made sorry, an effort. Sorry, maybe native, sorry, native indigenous, native. not all local. Oh, but, well, I think that's great because we've noticed since we've been planting more indigenous or native plants um, that we've had more lizards, we've had more bird biodiversity in our garden, and it's just so nice. Particularly when we went into lockdown. Lockdown was terrible, but going in a backyard and seeing beautiful different kinds of birds, because we've got the native the native flowers uh, that they can feed on or even salt bush where we've now got a family of lizards which are the little sleepy lizards they're just gorgeous and so it is you get a lot out of it as a human being when you when you do engage in that i'm really excited about that i know we're supposed to be talking about the beautification plan but it all sort of feeds in doesn't it, it does yeah so there's a number of strategies clearly you know this is something that's been talked about for some time the, uh, these key nodes and entries and providing you know those tree that uh, effectively tree line statements coming into the township we're not trying to be over the top with some detailed landscaping but really respectful of you know the um, what um, respectful of you know, the uh, you know, uh, trees that will um, be sustainable in this environment yeah. I think that's really important as you're saying they've got to be able to last those really hot summers yeah. and that's something that we've considered in you know selecting some species but again you know we're interested in your feedback there's a lot of experts um, out there in the town of Gawler and uh, yeah really looking forward to whatever feedback comes in so just to um, reiterate how can people feedback yeah very simply um, you can click on our through our website and we can have uh, there's a dedicated um, page in our your, your voice consultation portal um, where we actually have the draft beautification plan. We have a summary one pager if you haven't got time to go through the 30 or 40 pages of that document. And, and we have a simple f a survey. So your feedback, we're really looking forward to capturing that in this survey. It really gives us, you know, some, it's gonna give us some great information. There is some free form text boxes. We're gonna add a bit more, you're more than welcome. And we'll collate all of that and bring it back to the members. And it's gone live today. I know it's working because we've already got seven or eight responses. Oh, fantastic. So it's, 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 it's already showing some promising signs that the community is really, you know, something they'll get engaged in. So we're really looking forward to you know, hearing what yeah, you've got to say. Yeah, so I think this is our plan. Uh, that's that, And when I use the term our, that's yours and mine because we live in Gawler and also our staff who work here and we're all in this together. So I, I just love what they've put together. But I'm really, really keen to hear what you you think of it and you know like I said have we got it right um, you know what elements do we need to tweak what do you think of it uh, and all your thoughts are just so important so thank you everyone have a great day